Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We start with breaking news from North Phoenix. A brush fire has just started near I-17 and Carefree Highway. A thousand acres of brushed have already burned. The Aguila fire broke out around 2:30 this afternoon and it's burning close to the neighborhood of 27th Lane and west of Via Aguila, and that's northeast of I-17 and Carefree Highway. We know that more than 200 homes are under evacuation, including the Joy Ranch subdivision. The evacuation zone is between I-17 to 19th Avenue between Cloud Road and Desert Hills Drive. Two structures and a home have been lost. We also know that a Red Cross Evacuation Center has also been set up at Boulder High School. All right, we want to head out to Team 12's William Pitts, who is making his way uh, out to the scene there. You are there now. Will, what can you tell us? Well, guys, it looks a lot better than it did just a few minutes ago. Take a look. It's actually burning in on, on the other side of this hill. We're at 27th Avenue and uh, Carefree Highway here. And just a few minutes ago, this was a massive column of black smoke. Now, after they have been hitting this fire with just air tanker after air tanker after air tanker, it's been like a flight line out here. They have knocked it down considerably, and it's a lot more white smoke. But there are still some spots that are catching. You can see some of the places where they've dropped uh, red fire retardant there. We've also got helicopters that have been coming in all the time, picking up at one end of the fire, dropping, trying to protect uh, these homes that are in the way. Uh, just pulling it up on a map on the other side of that mountain that I showed you just a minute ago, that's not open desert over there. That is nothing but houses and neighborhoods in that direction. So they wanted to get a handle on this thing very, very quickly. That's why that big DC-10, the biggest tanker that we have in the entire fleet nationwide, made repeated drops on this thing in the last couple of hours right over the top of this mountain. They were hitting it very, very hard because they want to stop it in its tracks or at least divert it away from any of those homes. Like you said, 200 homes evacuated at this point. And for a while, it was pretty sketchy. There was a lot of smoke around here, and we didn't know where this fire was going to go. It looks like, though, they're starting to get a little bit of a handle on it at least. But they are, again, taking no chances on this thing. These planes and these tankers are still flying around here all the time, dropping fire return and water on this fire, guys. Yeah, well, and we know that the fire is moving north towards even more structures. Thank you for that. Let's continue our live team coverage with Team 12's Josh Sanders, who is also tracking this growing fire. Josh. Yeah, much like what Will just said, we're on 7th Avenue and Cloud Road, and you're seeing a lot of traffic come through from those neighborhoods, a lot of horses. One of the residents told us that um, about 20 horses have been evacuated, and we're seeing tanker after tanker fly over and drop that retardant as well. Just like Will said, when we first got here, dark smoke covered the sun, but now it's lighter as they've dropped water and retardant. But hey guys, it's windy and dry out here. Not a good combination when it comes to uh, fire weather, but it has calmed down since uh, since we got here about 15, 20 minutes ago. One resident we spoke with did say that her neighbor's house was lost in the flames. He's somewhere down the road. We're going to go try and find him. Obviously, he's uh, distraught uh, because uh, of, of losing, losing his home. And we're also seeing uh, vehicles come through. Uh, Kyle, if you could pan over to the left, you see that uh, Chevy truck and the pink retardant that's been dropped on that truck as well. So uh, a fluid situation, guys. But again, uh, we can see the sun now. When we first got here, it was covered uh, with dark smoke. So, uh, guys, we're going to throw it back to you. Thanks, Josh. Hopefully things there continue to improve.